What's new this month at Rogers Railroad Junction? We're getting plenty steamed at Broadway Limited with two additions to our inventory. First up, from Broadway's Brass Hybrid line, Streamlined Hudsons with Smoke and Sound. Featuring all the detail of brass construction with none of the headaches, these engines are fully operational with dual mode controls for trouble free running on both analog and digital layouts. A five pole skew wound motor with precision gears allows for smooth running, while individually sprung drive wheels provide easy tracking through switches. Meanwhile, key components such as brake shoes are fabricated from plastic preventing the annoying electrical shorts that have historically plagued brass locomotives. The final result is a model that encompasses the best of both worlds, the detail and hefty pulling power of brass with the reliability and price of plastic. Compromise is now a thing of the past. And then there are consolidation types from Broadway's Paragon 2 line. Built with the same dual-mode digital control system as their brass hybrid engines, Broadway once again lives up to its reputation for quality, offering directional LED lighting, traction tires, a die-cast frame, detailed cab interior, and synchronized puffing smoke. Yes, friends, it's all that and a really sweet voice to boot. Available in nearly a dozen road names to fit most any theme or era. At last, a high quality, highly detailed steam locomotive designed to run on smaller layouts. And then there's F7 diesels from Intermountain. One of the most well-known and widely distributed locomotives in history, EMD struck gold in 1949 when they introduced these bull-nosed beauties as the latest installment of their well-regarded F-Series. Since that time, these compound curves and smooth lines have become perennial favorites of model railroaders, rail fans, and career railroaders alike. With see-through grill work, wire grab irons, multiple etched metal details, and dual-mode digital control. Digital sound effects complete the ensemble tribute to one of America's railroad icons. Available in 37 different road names with many in multiple liveries and EMD demonstrator colors. Perfect for whatever your modeling preferences might be. And then there's 40-foot air slide hoppers from Athern's Ready to Roll line. Built for hauling flour and other fine powdered goods that tended to clog up in more traditional hopper cars, air slides first began showing up on American railroads back in the mid-1950s. Their reliability and easy operation made them fast favorites of the milling industry, and air slides of varying sizes continue to ply the nation's rails today. Built to either early or late car body standards and sitting atop Bettendorf trucks with either plain bearing or roller bearing journals, both dependent upon road name, Athern has equipped these cars with mesh roof walks, full underbody detail, wire form grab irons, knuckle couplers, and machined metal wheels. And bringing up the rear, steel bay window cabooses from Centralia Car Shops. Based on the Southern Pacific's C50-7 design, Centralia has produced these precision scale models in both as-delivered and rebuilt paint schemes. Available with either rooftop or end-mounted markers, features include mesh roof walks, the distinctive dinner plate antenna, authentic decaling in step wells and other key areas, and a detailed interior. Moving on to more monochromatic matters, we have two new arrivals in the store this month, 
both wearing the Santa Fe Railway's iconic zebra scheme. First off, Fairbanks Morse H10-44 Road Switchers from Walther's Proto. Introduced in 1944, these 1,000 horsepower road switchers marked Fairbanks' initial entry into the locomotive market. Valued for their high horsepower rating, which could be expanded to 1,200 with a few modifications, these engines with their stylized roof lines were favorites of crews, but not so popular in the shops, where their exotic opposed piston engine blocks posed unique problems for mechanics unused to dealing with such a design. In this case, however, Walther's has equipped these machines with a far more reliable five-pole can motor and all-wheel electrical pickup. Also included are constant voltage directional lighting, die-cast Protomax couplers, separate fan assemblies, and various prototype-specific details. Available with or without sound and digital control for whatever your layout requirements may be. And then there's even more from Athern, this time from their Genesis line. Also sporting the slimming vertical stripes this month, EMD GP9s. A stalwart of railroads both domestic and international, this venerable 1700 horsepower workhorse burst onto the scene in 1954 and has been in near universal use ever since, with many examples still employed today by short lines and regional haulers. Built to the typically high standards of the Genesis line, included features range from bi-directional horns and nail-type antenna with ground plane, to detailed cab interior, full MU connections, drop steps, wire form grab irons, prototypically correct journal caps, and side skirts, and a skew wound motor with precision gearing. There's just something about good old black and white that never goes out of style, you know? Continuing within the Athern family, we return to the Ready to Roll line with several new offerings. First up, 50-foot rapid discharge hoppers with realistic coal loads. Patented by the Ortner Corporation in the summer of 1965, rapid discharge hoppers were designed for the very purpose which their name suggests. By eliminating the conventional hopper design of small outlet gates spaced evenly along the car's underside, and replacing them with large doors running the entire length of the car, an entire carload of material can be emptied in a matter of seconds and without resorting to the use of vibrators, blow torches, or other such labor-intensive techniques for freeing jammed cargo. Equipped with a removable load for running either empty or loaded trains, Athern has delivered the goods with detailed actuating mechanisms on the outlet gates along with wire grab irons, internal bracing, and 100-ton roller bearing trucks with blackened metal 36-inch scale wheels. Then there's offset cupola cabooses, available in five different road names and featuring crystal clear windows, separately applied roof walks, smoke jacks, brake wheels and brake stands, wire handrails and ladders, knuckle couplers, and optimized weighting. All's well that ends well with these iconic endpoints to the American freight train. And even that's not mentioning 50-foot gondolas, also from the ready-to-roll line. Riding atop 70-ton trucks with 33-inch metal wheels, Athern has crafted these utilitarian workhorses with highly detailed injection-molded bodies, McHenry couplers with scale knuckles, separately applied brake wheels, and optimized weighting. In service from the late 1950s up until the present day, virtually every conceivable load has been carried in the trough-like confines of these cars. From tractors to scrap metal, to pipe sections, to steel coils, to maintenance of way equipment. If it's big and bulky, it's probably traveled by gondola. And from big and bulky to small and dainty, we've got it all right here under one roof. So come on down and see what's happening at Rogers Railroad Junction today.